Hello everyone, this is Sheldon from Shell Rock Art. I am just going to do a quick video tonight. I'm going to do a bloom. And I know a lot of people ask, why do I do blooms so much? It's because I enjoy them and they, it's like a satisfying video for me. And I try to gain more control over the colors that I put down. And so the more I do it, the more practice I get, the more control I can gain so I can do things deliberately as opposed to having things happen all the way, always so random. So we'll get started and I'll, I'll mention the colors as I put them down. I got two new colors in the mail to the other day, so I wanna add those to my palette as well. So, let's get started on this one. So I'm laying down a white house paint pillow, bare, I mean not bare, Glidden Premium Semi Gloss, Pure White. I use the base three untinted for my prairie medium. I don't know if you see this, but when you ever see the pure white, you always see underneath the word, you see base one. So the untinted is base three. Now, let's lay on the colors. So I have a dark bronze, which is like a mixture of a lighter bronze, but I took some uh, Van Dyke brown and added to it. So that's gonna be my background color. I'm wondering if I, I'm wondering if I should use the magenta. I'm gonna change this to a red, one second. color I had was Chambord, but I want to change this to more of a um, fireworks or red color, like Carmen. This is Carmen. Yeah. So I'll go with Carmen instead. I do like the Carmen. I do like the Chambord as well, but this is going to use as uh, Carmen. So I have that, the bronze, dark bronze. This is a bright yellow, which is called Pineapple Crush from Color Art. With plenty of that. I want, so I want a lot of that yellow. Okay. Then I have Nebula Star. This is the Carmen. And these colors are fairly thick. They're not really thin. The only thin color I have on here would be my cell activators. Because I want the weight to be different. But the density of the paint is different too, as well. And it helps when the cell activator needs to sink. Now the new color I have is this bluish green by uh, Amsterdam. No, greenish blue, backwards. So this is greenish blue by Amsterdam. And this is iridescent, um, bluish green by Hebeo. It's my first heavy old color. But I like the iridescence in that. I'm going to come this way, bring it back. And I might do a little bit differently this time. Before I would do my black 
white than my black. Sorry for the pause, just came and got my tube. It's called Iridescent Blue Green. That's what it's called by Pedia. So, I just wanna make sure you had the colors right. So I think I'm gonna do this time um, a little bit of black and then a white select later. Should I? No. I'm gonna go with my blacks, my 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 usual. I like my usual. So I'll do the white first. Gotta do what I like. And then my black. I always make sure I put plenty of side to get on here so it can spread across. I'm just gonna blow this on a collect got some nice colors popping up some nice ringed cells popping up there now grab my straw now blow some in the middle while it's collecting I am glad I switched to the red too so let me blow a few cells in the middle And um, if you're going to do any kind of blowing of cells or opening things up in the middle, it's better to do it sooner versus later because you don't want the the paint to collect too much. Now my straw just hit that spot right there. So let me see what I can work with that. Everything turned out beautiful until my straw hit that little spot. Let me see if I can touch that out. Oh, that's better. Gave it almost like a little tiny balloon kiss in the middle with my fingertips, so. Now to Add some swirlies to move some of these little bumpy parts around. These little points that I don't really like.
like see how these bumps are I don't like that and I don't like that and I can kind of bring these little lines around but if you do that you got to make sure you follow the same pattern that you did previously to make it nice. And there's another little point here. I'm gonna get rid of. And one more that's here. See that one there? That's good. So now let's, let's slowly spin this baby out and see what we come up with. I'm weird because I just went rinse my fingers off but I rinsed my left hand off because the funny thing is that I don't mind paint being on my right hand it's the left hand I have problems with don't ask me so I'm gonna put a little color on these corners but I think I'm done. I don't want to disturb any more of these cells. It will dry good, dry very well. And um, yeah, so I'm going to get you down for a closer look. And hopefully you like how this turned out. Okay, folks, this is a closer look. And you see how those swirls kept their shape. Even though they're a little elongated, they're not ripply and the reason is because um, I spun slowly I always say that in most of my videos that if you're going to try this technique do it slowly let me turn the light off and get rid of this glare there it is that's better so yeah, I always say spin slowly so you can keep the integrity of your lacing and the shapes of your cells so that they work out nice. Now this is a 10 by 10 canvas. But I love the way this turned out. So it all it did not all go this way, but that's okay. I like this little action here and this little fused area all around. It gives it an abstract feel to it. So, thank you for watching. This is Sheldon from Shell Rock Art. And once again, I say happy pouring and good night.